Welcome back everyone to another video beer review from uh, Koss uh, and the, the balcony where I'm staying. Uh, just done the premium red ale from uh, Septon Brewery. Uh, I'm about to do one from Vulcan Brewery now and it's a bottle of their Sant Santorini Black which is a, a black lava rock filtered lager uh, coming in at 5% 330 ml bottle. So uh, any second now, I'll pause the video because I'm going to have to get this bottle cap off. I've got no bottle opener with me, so do a bit of damage to the older balcony, I think. And then uh, we'll do the pour and get, the, get on with the review. So back in the tip. Cheers. There we go. Bottle cap off in one go. It's, uh, that's the bottle cap. Real cool bottle cap. Like an eye thing on there. Do like that. Cracking label on the bottom. Bottle. Bottom. On the bottom. On the bottle. Uh, yeah, this is uh, filtered through lava rock apparently, so uh, should be quite interesting. And a black lager, so uh, something a little bit different. So let's get this in the glass, see what we get. It's definitely black, that's for sure. Maybe a bit of a review or two after, I can't get all this in that little glass, but in a glass, that is black. Uh, carbonation coming up from the bottom of the glass we've got a finger of quite spacious slightly off white head that is staying there uh, but until we get the rest in I suppose we'll never know what it's really like so let's try and give this a swirl get a nose on the beer yeah very roasted malt sort of aroma in there Yeah, just, just a real sort of strong malty, malty smell. Dark malty smell. Not really getting anything else from it. It's almost stout-like in the, in the smell. But we'll see what it's like. So let's dive in. Cheers, everyone. different sort of taste to that one very different uh, <laughs> there's a funny taste in there body's thin very thin really well feels not particularly nice filtered through lava rock you, you're sort of getting that there's almost almost a, a, a smokiness there is yeah it's just very sort of malty There, there is almost like a smokiness to the lager. I'm not sure this is supposed to be a smoky beer or anything, or. Water, malted barley, malted wheat, hops, blend of fragrant Santorini honey and essence of citrus. I'll be honest with you, I'm not getting any of that. No, I'm just getting a big malty. Not getting any citrus in there or honey really. Maybe a very subtle honey sort of taste in there. Almost sort of. Lava rock, almost getting a more of a mineral kind of, and you know, lava rock. You kind of think of a burnt sort of thing, and that's sort of all I'm getting from it. It's a weird tasting one. Uh, 
Not one I'd go for again, if I'm totally honest, which is a bit of a shame, because I was quite, quite looking forward to that. But I mean, if you're over here and want to try it, by all means, try it. Not one I'd go for again. I mean, at least, at least the red ale that I done was was like a red ale. I wouldn't say it was anything brilliant, but a little bit disappointed with that. If I'm totally honest. Uh, if you've had it before, let me know what you think. Uh, comment below. Like, share the video, subscribe to my channel. Don't forget all the beer no idea on Facebook, all the beer no idea on YouTube, all the beer no idea one on Instagram and Twitter. And that's it for this review, and probably that'll be it probably for today. And I'll probably do another couple tomorrow of the beers I got. And uh, that's it. So thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh, keep watching, much appreciated. Uh, be great if I could. It's really shut up, like I said. I'm just short of the 420 now, I think. So uh, it'd be great if I can get to 500 by Christmas with the old subs. And that's it. So again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again on another beer review very soon. Cheers.